Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video we've got a new build of Windows 10. This is Windows 10 14986 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. This is a Windows 10 Creators Update build. What's Redstone 2? Uh, PC only, no mobile build this week. Uh, there was no PC build last week. There's actually some new features in this one which is good to know. And um, some of them are related around Cortana. So let me start off by uh, tell you about the new Cortana features. So you can turn your computer off, you can change volume uh, uh, with voice commands. So you can ask Cortana to uh, turn the volume up. Hey Cortana, turn the volume up. Please unlock your device. There we go. So you can see how it works. I'll unlock my device. Hey Cortana, lock this PC. Locking your computer. So there you go, there's an example of it. And you notice as well, it was full screen, which uh, I think looks quite good. And maybe this is part of the future home hub um, features of Windows 10, where you can use it, interact it as a sort of, as a central point in the home, and you don't need to go and press anything. So I quite like that. So you can restart, you can put, um, you can lock the machine, you can put the volume up and down as well. Uh, you can also use Cortana to control music playback if you've got, um, third-party apps. This is US only and I don't think this is going to work on mine. Um, you can, like iHeartRadio and TuneIn Radio, they work. So uh, you can do play the digital, oh, hey Cortana, play the digital lifestyle on TuneIn Radio. Sorry, I can't play music from TuneIn Radio. Please check back another time. Hey Cortana, play the digital lifestyle on tuning radio. Sorry. Hey Cortana. So that would work if I was in US English and um, I've got this set to UK English at the moment so that's going to work. But you can do things like play artist, play title, play track. Uh, on iHeartRadio or Tuning Radio, and you can obviously you can do this with Groove already. The good thing that they've done with this as well. So if you say uh, play the Digital Lifestyle on Tuning Radio, and then you say play jazz music, it knows that you were talking about Tuning Radio because that's what you mentioned last time. So it retains that context, which is context awareness. So you don't have to say play um, rock on Groove. Um, and then play jazz on Groove, it knows that you're talking about Groove, so once you've told it with Groove once, it remembers that. The forecast shows so I, I, I really like that, you could have that, it, the more Cortana can do through like this, the better, and uh, I can imagine you having this as, a, as just a device that you leave in the home uh, in the future, That uh, and this could do it. It'd be nice if you could say, hey Cortana, turn my smart plugs on, or whatever your place on us. Okay, so what else has changed in this build? Uh, there's some other minor changes. There's uh, game bar um, improvements. It uh, supports some additional games. Check the release notes on the digitallifestyle.com for that. They've changed some stuff on Windows Inkin. Let's show you that. So if you go to um, if you go to Screen Sketch and it creates a new sketch based on your screen. I'm picking my pen up at the moment actually, but uh, there's now a resume button. Okay, so it's created a new screen sketch now, and you see there we've got the resume previous, and I can bring that up. So I suspect I can do a bit of edit on this one, close that. And there's the previous one as well. So it's um, a nice little, nice little touch. And you now get nice little previews of what the uh, pen and font combination or pen uh, ink size combinations will look like when you select it which is which is quite good as well they've added some finer control to the uh, ruler uh, as well and uh, they've said that they no longer show the um, cursor when inking so those are the changes with ink there's a couple of new um, extensions for edge eBetas, Intel TrueKey, Read and Write, and uh, 
I'll include links to those on the digitallifestyle.com as well. Some of the rendering technology has been changed in the UWP apps, but to be honest, I haven't seen any changes to that. This has gone like a grey colour, but I don't think that's, uh, I think I've seen that before and that's, that's happened before, so I don't think that's a problem. There's some improvements in Narrator and, oh, Windows Defender dashboard has changed. Let's check that out. Okay, so here's the new Windows Defender app. Now, to get this after you've um, updated your, your PC, you need to do a reboot. And then to actually locate it, you have to f search for it. Uh, and Microsoft will say search for Windows Defender Trusted Store app. There it is. I think. And um, we've got that here. So they're still working on this. But um, it's the a UWP style app. I guess it is a UWP app. Um, rather than the old sort of desktop Windows, I guess Windows 7 style one uh, that we had before. So this is not fully functional, there's the old one. Uh, this is not fully functional, Microsoft say. This is a uh, work in progress, but yeah, it's definitely got that Windows 10 style as opposed to the, the old Windows 7 style one. So a couple of things, there's registry editor changes, some USB class 2 audio updates, um, and uh, there's a lot of other minor fixes, taskbar, menu um, settings, and um, virtual touchpad it fixes, you know, a lot of minor stuff. So I'll include links to those in the show notes, I don't need to go through all the video notes to go through all those. A couple of known issues, some of the uh, keyboard monitor hotkey just may not work, Microsoft say, around brightness. Um, so um, you've got to use the brightness on the action center on here. Um, there's some issues with narrator and um, Hey Cortana may not work with the <laughs> Hey Cortana uh, play uh, app name or whatever it is may not work until the system is indexed after five minutes. So I'll include a link for this in the show notes as well so you can have a look at yourself. So that's the main changes to these builds. I like the um, Hey Cortana changes and I like the full state, the full screen uh, element of it as well. So I think that's a nice a nice look to it as well. So that's the changes with this build. Uh, you can look at all previous builds on the digitallifestyle.com on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this one.